The Gettysburg College 1964 Bullets reunite to relive their championship season. The famous players they went on to work with and the tragedy that finally brought the team back together. And they are Gettysburg College's Legends of the Fall, why the 64 Bullets football team finally reunited the season and their connection to Hall of Fame quarterbacks Johnny Yu and Roger Stallback in a bit. The 60 Second Look at Sports, I'll see you later in the show as Fox 43 News at 10 continues. Well, they are the only Gettysburg College athletic team to win a Division I championship. And until this season, the 1964 Bullets football team had never reunited to relive that glorious season. Todd joins us now to tell us what finally brought these teammates and friends back together. The players describe it as a once-in-a-lifetime team, but for 46 years, they go their separate ways. The reunion in September is the dream of backup quarterback Don Enders. Sadly, Enders didn't make it to the reunion. His death from prostate cancer forces others to pick things up where he left off. So on a gorgeous September weekend, Gettysburg's Legends of the Fall return to campus. <laughs> Hey, good morning to all of you and welcome back. Welcome home. The 1964 Bullets feel right at home in their old jerseys, and the day begins with a recreation of the team photo. There wasn't anybody on that team I didn't like, and there wasn't anybody on that team I didn't respect. So I'm really looking forward to being with them again. They were together again on the football field at halftime of Gettysburg's game against Johns Hopkins. Five members of the team are deceased. 35 of the remaining 40 returned. Somebody asked me something about the ball club. And I said, well, you know what? That's the way we played. Uh, the reason we were successful is because we showed up on Saturday. Next stop on this Saturday is the president's house for a VIP reception. You are a group that certainly is highly regarded. As we look back in the history of athletics at Gettysburg College, yours is an era and a team that people often talk about. None of the guys leave without taking a special handoff from President Riggs on their way out. I don't need to throw it, do I? <laughs> they take their championship footballs across campus where the party continues at a banquet. It's been 46 years since they've seen each other, but the jokes are all new. Dale Boyd contacted the cheerleaders. We told him not to, but he did, he did anyway. We said, we don't need that. I guess you know the cheerleaders of Bucknell got letters too. So. Tom is a prime example of this team's football pedigree. He played two seasons with the Pensacola Navy Goshawks. His quarterback, Heisman Trophy winner and Dallas Cowboys Hall of Famer Roger Stallback. He was a pilot. I was, I was a logistics officer on the base. Tom was my receiver. We played Middle Tennessee State in a heck of a game, and I scrambled around and threw two long touchdown passes to him. And he had really good hands, and so we became great friends. The Bullets quarterback, Jim Ward, played six years in the NFL, including several as the backup to Colts legend Johnny Unitas. Stallback, Ward, and McCracken are all close friends to this day and will forever be linked. When Tom's wife passed away, uh, actually our son met uh, Jim's daughter at the funeral and uh, they got to know each other and fell in love and are <laughs> married and got three children. You never know who you're going to meet during life's journey. If it wasn't for the memoirs of Don Enders, these teammates may not have reconnected. When he was given a certain amount of months, basically the rest of his life, um, he resigned as a te high school teacher and coach and decided he'd write a history of this team. And that's what he did. We were outmanned in every game, but we weren't outspirited and we had a great group of guys and, and uh, great chemistry and the end result was a championship team. Don Enders' family traveled from across the country to Gettysburg to represent him at the reunion. A little more than half of the players are still local, and all of them had great stories to tell that weekend, that is for sure. And Roger Stahlbeck mentioned Tom McCracken was his wide receiver. That's still the case. The two of them play every year in a turkey bowl game, so they're going to be on the field again in a little over a week. Great story. And I'm sure yeah. Roger is still scrambling around. He's still around. got a great arm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank, Thank you, Todd. You, Todd. Sure.